For people who have been diagnosed with an inherited cardiac condition, particularly the young ones, the common question we get is as how much exercise are they able to do? This again will depend on the individual condition. For some conditions are, we are more relaxed compared to others. A classic example will be someone with a diagnosis of Brugada syndrome, where Brugada syndrome is not usually associated with sudden cardiac death during exercise. And assuming that people get certain uh, precautions, their risk of sudden death during exercise should be very small. In contrast to that, you've got conditions such as heart muscle diseases, arrhythmogenic right ventricular cardiomyopathy, otherwise known as ARVC is a classic example, or electrical faults of the heart such as long QT syndrome or CPVT, that they have a clear association between exercise and provoking irregular heartbeats that can potentially lead to a sudden cardiac death or at least fainting episodes. So the advice needs to be tailored on the individual inherited cardiac condition as well as the individual's desire to exercise and at what level they want to exercise. If you look at the recommendations of scientific bodies such as the American Heart Association, the American College of Cardiology and the European Society of Cardiology, for most of those conditions they won't recommend participating at elite competitive sports. However, it's important to make clear that that does not mean that individuals should not do some form of exercise and that's why it's important that they get a specific exercise prescription by their specialist in order to ensure that they exercise in a safe manner and we also avoid in the future the most common uh, cardiac conditions such as coronary disease and myocardial infarctions in their 40s or 50s.